Friday marked the 100th anniversary of what's become, for better or worse, a Washington institution, the Presidential News Conference. That's our Face the Nation flashback. Woodrow Wilson called the first one but became so exasperated with the questions he eventually stopped having them. His successors, Harding, Coolidge, and Hoover, took only written questions. Roosevelt met often with the White House press, but reporters couldn't quote him directly. Same with Truman. Well, I see we're trying a new experiment this morning. I hope it doesn't prove to be a disturbing influence. Eisenhower let cameras in, but his answers couldn't be broadcast until the White House reviewed the transcript. President Kennedy's news conference, live from Washington. It was John Kennedy who first allowed news conferences to be broadcast live and forever changed the presidency. You were quoted as making a rather harsh statement about uh, businessmen. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't want to identify, would you? <laughs> Kennedy demonstrated that a president's charm and wit could help his cause as much as the substance of his answers. I never promised you a rose garden. President Ford took the news conference outside. And can you give us any details on that? Great, except when aircraft overhead drowned him out. Yes. Other presidents tried various innovations to put their own spin on the news, but only two things have remained constant. You. Presidents come to dread, if not hate, news conferences. I didn't get to finish my answer in all due respect and reporters are never satisfied. Thank you very much, everybody. It's the nature of journalism. Mr. President, you signed the order. People always ask me which of all the administrations I've covered are the most secretive and manipulative. I always answer whichever happens to be in office at the time. Each learns from the previous one. Every administration comes to office promising to be more open and transparent, but except after Nixon, I can never remember that happening. Our Face the Nation flashback.